Hey guys, it's Wednesday. We are back in New Jersey after a brief stint in Baltimore, a day down in Richmond, and we are back here with a whole bunch of boxes. These are the Face Off Academy rep straps, and we have some Face Off Academy players bags that we're gonna get out the door today. And then tonight we got the Face Off Academy New Jersey Edition Draw Day, which I coach every Wednesday. And after that, we're gonna be making something awesome for dinner. So hang around, see how it all goes. Let's go. printed, ready to roll. Let's go pack these bad boys up. So we've bagged up about half the orders that will go today. That's all I have time to do. The rest of those guys will go out tomorrow. Let's head over to the post office. full of brand new rep straps going out to you guys. All right, we're just uh, driving on our way to the annex in Chatham, New Jersey. We have a, uh, pardon me, cars all loaded up. We've got the ball, sticks, gloves all intact. Uh, we've got one VIP member tonight, and we're going to coach him up, and then we, all the boys come in for our Wednesday night battles at the New Jersey Draw Day. It's going to be a good show. Hang in there. Gotta stay out. Right. Keep driving forward. That left hand's gotta go 45 degrees instead of going straight up in the air. Okay? Try it again. See how big of a difference that is? Yeah. Oh, I love being right. <laughs> off the ball you're doing you're way too left hand dominant okay get your right hand more down the line into the ball and stuff that throw that's that's the only reason why he beat you to okay. the ball okay 
So just had a great session with the boys. Ton of good reps. Real sweat shop over here. Guys wringing out their shirts, getting the sweat out, but uh, you know, it's all in the day's work. And we're gonna go home, make a nice nutritious dinner. I'm gonna show you how to do it. This thing on. Yeah, we're good. A healthy stab at some fried rice. Instead of rice, we're gonna go with some uh, Healthy organic quinoa or quinoa. It's a hard word to say. We got some peeled garlic because I'm too lazy to peel it myself. Some green onions, some shiitake mushrooms. That's a fun word to say. Some nice uh, fresh eggs, some ginger, red onion, even though this should be a yellow onion. This is all I have, so that's what we're going with. Some chicken breast and some baby corn. So now we're gonna prep the ingredients before we start uh, cooking things. I'm gonna throw the quinoa in the back on the boil just to let that simmer for a little bit so we can bounce ahead. So first we're going to dice up this red onion and put on these black gloves because I cut my finger taking reps and nobody wants blood on their onion even if it's already a red one. So let's dice this guy up. First things first we're going to cut off the root on the other side, slice it down the middle. We'll peel off that outer shell and get rid of that and we're going to dice these halves so we're going to go across the blade the across the onion right about to the end without cutting all the way through then we'll go down the side of the onion fine cubes for cooking. Transfer that red onion to a bowl, save for later. After you're done with your red onion, you're gonna take out about three cloves of garlic. Just give those a fine dice slice, whatever makes you happy. It's your world, I'm just living in it. Next we have our shiitake mushrooms. You're gonna have to cut off the stem of these. I use a paring knife, you can use whatever you like. Make sure you wipe these down on the top of the wet rag or paper towel, gotta keep them clean. Once they're all cleaned up, give a nice rough chop to your thickness. Next, we have to chop up the green onions. You're gonna wanna get a nice After having to go to dump your card and have your girlfriend get very mad at you that you're cooking this late, replace your glove. Next up, we're gonna go to the green onions to give them a nice fine chop. Get rid of the tops. Then, just quick slices.
next, we come up with some classic baby corns. Not exactly sure how many that is, but give those a rough chop as well. I crack and scramble three eggs. You can scramble any way you like. I like to use chopsticks. Last but not least, we have to dice up our chicken breasts. So we're gonna use a chef's knife on these. Get these guys out. Give them a slice long ways. Okay, now let's go to the burner. Okay guys, so next we're gonna turn on two burners. We got one pan for the chicken, one pan for the vegetables. We're eventually gonna tie in the chicken with the vegetables in this wok, but for now we're gonna go with the chicken here, vegetables here, because this is gonna cook at a higher temperature than the vegetables. I like to use coconut oil when I'm doing this. A little bit lighter, a little bit healthier. Give that a good spray. Same thing with this pan. Bring the chicken to this pan. Of course, wash your hands after handling any raw poultry. Pan's smoking a little bit. Wash the mushrooms in. Your onions and garlic. Let those guys get to know each other. Once your veggies are about 75% of the way cooked, we're gonna add the corn. a good stir. Once the vegetables are done to your liking, I can have almost a, a meaty texture in the mushrooms, corn's getting cooked, onions are translucent. We're gonna add our eggs. Almost like a little omelet. And we're just gonna scramble that bad boy up. Now that our chicken is all the way cooked through, we're going to add it to the vegetables and egg. Turn that burner off. Get that all incorporated. Next up, we're going to add a couple scoops of fresh made quinoa. Up to your discretion. Get a good glug soy sauce, a little sesame chili oil, about a bottle cap full, and yeah, maybe two because I like it spicy. Then some black sesame seeds on top of that as well. Crank up the heat, get them all stirred up. I also like to add a little secret ingredient, a little Chinese black vinegar. Last but not least, we're gonna add our green onions. All right, that looks just about done on our end. Now you get your fanciest bowl. Fill it up to your heart's content. Burnt myself, ouch. That will happen, that's okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Hit it with a few more sesame seeds if you do so desire. Get a little bit more soy. There you go. It's 11.19, perfect time to eat. And once you're all done cooking, you get to clean up your entire kitchen. So this is about the mess you'll make. Hmm. 
about a 6 on the 10 on the messy scale. But enjoy. We'll see you next week.